W. And we're back. Um. Uh, so speaking of uh, recent events, we now move to uh, the entertainment section Ooh. of the world. <laughs> okay. And uh, if anyone had been watching TV, picked up a magazine, looked at Twitter, anything, you don't know. Twitter. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> you know that the new trending topic and gossip, as always, involves a Kardashian clan. And Bruce Jenner's. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're a clan. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. And so um, people. <laughs> what did you just say? Nothing. Uh, and try. Bruce, can I finish my sentence? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, and Bruce Jenner's <laughs> uh, decision <laughs> on becoming a woman. <laughs> I don't. I don't understand that. <laughs> Brandon, your opinions as a male. All right. Like, how you go? <laughs> You have three. How many? How many of them are his daughters? Two. Two, two of them. Two daughters, mm -hmm. and then oh, we got a divorce. Now I want to be a female. No, but he has other kids with another lady. They're like older than. Okay, but I don't but, understand that happens. It's a it's a thing where like it's Your a mentality change no, or something. No, it's literally a thing. You know, it's a boy girl, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. There's a thing where you can be a man, but you, but you have female hormones. You you like a androgynous. Girl. You just have more female hormones. Androgynous. Hormones. Whatever that word she's saying. Uh -huh. exactly. <laughs> right? It's where, like, you're kind of trapped in a man's body. You're trapped in a woman's body uh -huh. with the hormones of the opposite sex. But how do you, like, how do you know? Like, well, I was here earlier. Mm -hmm. Shout out to WCICR. Uh, I was Chelsea Harris. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about the same thing. And she said something. Apparently, I guess he, uh, either on the, the, sh the show where he, like, told his story or whatever. He said that he's always felt this way. Like, even when he was giving, well, not giving birth, but, like, through the birth of his two daughters, uh -huh. uh, back when he was younger, he's always felt like he should be a woman. So he just suppressed the feeling. I Yeah, and, like, he said that the whole athletic thing, because he was in the Olympics, was just kind of, like, a way of trying to, like, balance it out. Like, yeah, I feel like a woman, maybe if I do, like, manly things, I'll feel more manly. But I guess that didn't help. And he feels do like wear dresses. Yeah, yeah he I've says he wears name. dresses. I never, I didn't know that. He looks like a female kind of like if you look at him yeah. like for a long time. Like, okay, I think he takes know. hormones. Oh, like, yeah, you can uh, take them. He takes a uh, feminine, like female. What is it? Estrogen. There estrogen, you go. Yeah. He takes estrogen hormones, um, which is why his face kind of has has those feminine features. Uh, but as a male, I just don't understand how. He, like, I just don't understand how that could happen. Like. Mm -hmm. how, yeah. I can understand S some people grow up and they have more of a female, like... Tendencies. Yeah, tendencies. Yeah. I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but I don't know how you want to change to a woman. Yeah. What gets you... Like a transgender? That. Yeah, I don't yeah. get... I don't understand there are a lot of transgenders. I think we have a transgender teacher, to be honest. Wow, okay, that's... Okay. Um. I'm just saying, I think <laughs> we have one. Like, I'm saying, like, you can't, you can't say anything, like... You know, you can't say like something. I, I personally don't think nothing's wrong with. I, yeah, I don't honestly, think there's anything yeah. wrong with it. Should, I just don't know how, how they're. I feel like people you know. worried about the wrong things. Like this man's sex. Who yeah. cares? The thing I don't get is like, why is it such a big deal? Like, there's yeah. so many transgender people in this world. Like, <laughs> what makes him it so be different? Be because he's busy. a Kardashian. The Kardashians oh, are porn the porn stars. <laughs> oh, <okay>. basically. <laughs> what are you I saying? Mean, they don't have any hidden talents. They don't. They Except don't. For, but they're in the public oh, eye, oh, which oh. makes them famous, which makes people want to know everything about them. <laughs> But I don't want to know nothing about these kids. At, honestly, like I really don't care. Like, what's what's the mom's name? Chris. Chris. Oh, okay. I think she's just like a really smart. Uh, what is it? What is it called? Like a manager. Because mm -hmm. she always puts them out there, mm -hmm. and they they're always somehow on the news. I mean, mm -hmm. if you put your daughter in a, with no, Ray J, I, in a, in a, <laughs> with they, Bruce they, also, I think she has something to do with him it, doing that like sixty minutes. They, I right honestly now. think that the family. In itself ha is delusional. Like, I think they have this, like, constant need. I mean, honestly, think about it. They don't do anything. So they need to be constantly in the media to get that money. Mm -hmm. I mean, sure. they're going to go broke if they're not in the media, in my opinion. So no, they're not. Well, they not stars. really. Yeah. Okay, well, no, no. Only Kim, only already. Kim made the sex tape. And I think, I don't know, I was watching a show and sometimes she, one day she said, like, I practically brought your career, yeah, with your sex tape. So... 
the sex tape brought them on the map. They were rich before because the yeah. father that uh-huh. passed away was like a rich lawyer. Yeah. But like they weren't in the public. They didn't have TV shows and stuff like that. They didn't have a a fashion line, a makeup line, a kids I line. I don't understand how you. I personally, like I told people, I'd rather be rich than famous. Yeah. I would I, I would not want anybody in my business. Like, mm-hmm. folks can't even, like, use Walk a restroom. Like, like, come on, bro. I'm walking outside. I'm getting my picture taken. I don't want my picture taken now. <laughs> like, that's yeah. annoying. Like, yeah. oh, my God. It's like this different society. Like, it's like they're not human. And I'm just, oh. It's just like, they're not yeah, human? Some, the news and the media puts them above a, us. Yeah. It's like, it's crazy. Like, I could call them out and say, I'm going to be a transgender tomorrow. And ain't nobody going to care. <laughs> <laughs> but because it's Bruce Jenner. But we got it's, your back. Whoa, I mean, Brandon, that's what you want to do. <laughs> I'm you got my friend, back? Brenda. Uh, you make a nice Brenda. Brenda. Brenda Torres. Can we not have Brenda? <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep it Brandon. Uh, I found out that his new name is Belinda. What? Oh, no. Belinda Jenner. Jenner. Oh, I think you talking about me. <laughs> I was like, what? I thought she was about you too. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Belinda. Oh, Belinda. Oh, no. Belinda is his name. That's not a cute name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think he tried to keep the B, though. Oh, okay. And, you know, Bruce, Belinda. Oh, it's still Bianca, okay. Br- uh, Brianna, there's 10,000 <laughs> more Brock. beautiful oh, names than that. Name. Bur- Brock. Brock. I was no, I said Brock. Uh, <laughs> that don't make any sense. Name. Name. That's Brock. the name, Brock, not Brock. But that's not a Brock. female name. Brock isn't a girl's name. She made yeah. that realization already. Yeah. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Well, um, okay, so on the topic of Bruce Jenner, how... Um, Felicia. Yes? How do you think people... As a whole, except your, uh, what's the term? Sexual orientation. There you go, right there. Um, that I'm from the South, okay. and it took me a long time to tell my mom that I was gay, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Um, and still, even though I told her I was gay, I was still hiding a lot of stuff, like who I was dating, simply because even though she was, quote unquote, okay with it, she wasn't okay with it, she just tolerated it because I was her child. But there are a lot of people, especially down South, who don't play that because they're very religious, Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. like, and I told, like, I guess Angel and a couple other people, like, when I came up here, nobody cares about what the other person is doing. Mm-hmm. I guess that's why it's so okay to be gay up here or so okay to do whatever you want. Mm-hmm. I guess, like, a lot of people aren't coming up to you and, or looking at you like you're disgusting. Mm-hmm. But if you were to go, like, I had a guy at my school who would wear leggings and red pumps, right? Mm-hmm. And, I, and even I, like, I didn't, I, even I would look at him like, why? Like, so, like honestly, I don't like people who do extra stuff. Right? For their attention. Mm-hmm. Yeah, their attention. But, but who am I to judge them? Especially because me being who I am, right? But mm-hmm. I'm not going to go up to you. I'm not going to give you a nasty look. I'm just going to look at you like, mm-hmm. come what on, you bro. Doing? Like, you're mm-hmm. making us all look, quote, unquote, not bad, but, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. People up here don't care. People down south, they care. They care a lot. Like, I, like even though I haven't told my grandmama and the rest of my family, they probably know. Mm-hmm. Like, you assume, but I'm not just going to come down and be like... Hey, <laughs> I'm gay. Hi, guys. I just opened this big closet right here. I'm not going to do that. You see what I'm saying? Because yeah. even though they love me in the back of their heads, um, unless they're not so narrow-minded, which I doubt it, you know, I'm not putting it past them, but at the same, you know, um, they're just going to, like, probably to their children, they're probably going to, you know, not want their children around me, you know, not want... Because it was okay growing up because I, I was playing sports. It was okay for me to dress like a, a, a guy, a boy, you know. Mm-hmm. It was okay because I was a tomboy. Because at the time I did like boys, you know, whatever. But I was hanging out with the guys all the time. It was okay. Mm-hmm. But then as I got older and I started to, my tender year, I started to hang around a lot more girls and have okay. girls over and girls that family done stuff like that. A lot of questions like, is fee, you know, fee gay? Blah, blah, blah. Like, why does it matter, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And stuff like that. But as long as I had my mom's okay, mm-hmm. nobody else mattered. You see what I'm saying? Uh-huh. But. And I think up here in New York, because a lot more people are not as religious as the South, mm-hmm. it's just become, okay. Like a regular thing. Yeah, like they're more thing. accepting up, up here. Because yeah. the way I see it, it's just, okay. You do what you yeah. do. You do what you want to do. Like that, who? That's none of my business. You want to do that? Okay. Yeah. Let me do what I do. I'll let you do what you do. I feel like this is why people, like, don't believe in religion or like go to church it's because like they're so judgmental on every single uh-huh. thing especially like the elder people yeah they are especially and then the like who are you to judge the person like are you god like you have no power like <laughs> and the only sin is that's being crazy. gay yeah the, like that's like the main one yeah i don't think i don't think people realize how stupid they sound 
when they say, oh, you're gay, you're going to hell. If you have sex, if you cuss, if you do drugs, if you do anything exactly. that ain't perfect, you're going to hell straight with me. You see what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, I'm not saying that you're going to hell. I'm not going to say that back to you, but it just it just angers me how the first thing that comes out somebody's mouth, especially down south. I don't know about up here because a lot of people have, haven't said anything to me, mm -hmm. you know, but down south is like, oh, you're gay, you're going to hell. Like, and people well, stop thinking... being gay because they're scared they're going to hell. Like, what? It does end up being a traditional thing. I know, like, um, my mother, anytime I say I want to hang out with Fee, she'll be like, oh, the lesbian. Like, she, she's very, like, very forward. proper and forward. Yeah, forward about it. I mean, I'm kind of afraid if she ever met Fee, what she would say to her face to face. So, good thing that hasn't happened yet. But um, I, for my culture, I'm Haitian. And it's like, if you're, if you're not... In the norms, male, female, together, get married, have kids, after marriage, like, you're wrong. So to them, like, it doesn't matter. You, you're just wrong, you know? And that's just the way they grew up. And there's no really change in their minds because that's just the way that they see things. Mm -hmm. And I feel like the younger generations are a little bit more lenient, but you do find that one or two that kind of take after their parents or their grandparents and are really strict in their beliefs in that. So. And I have a friend who's really religious, mm -hmm. but he doesn't care. It doesn't, yeah. it does, like, I guess it's that new generation yeah. coming in mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. you could be super religious. Like He's probably going to become a priest, but okay. it doesn't do you. Yeah. I mean, do but you, you got to think about it. Like, technically, the religion is to say don't judge people. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. technically, that's what it's saying. But technically, in the Bible, there was a city who was burnt down because of all the homos or whatever and all the sins that were going on or whatever, whatever, whatever. But that was in the Old Testament. That was in the, the Old Testament. You see what I'm saying? Now. Like, it's a, lot of, it's a lot more things going on, but literally everything that you go through in life, is there's literally a story for everything you've gone through in life in the Bible. Yeah. You know, everything you can think of. And it's just, it's just ridiculous how either it's kind of a hit or miss with the situation. Not just this situation, but every situation. Mm -hmm. Either you go after how your parents, how, how the tradition teaches you, or you kind of like, wonder about it you kind of like are you know confused about it and you mm -hmm. kind of do your own thing yeah you know type situation i mean i think as a whole if people just live their own life and let other people live theirs everyone exactly. will be happy i mean <clears throat> are they hurting you being gay exactly am i hurting is my sexual orientation have any effect on your life yeah. no what does so. my business when you're not there have to do with you yeah exactly it's my business so that's what I have to say on the matter. And I think it's like what you take from your, what your parents teach you. Yeah. Because at a certain age, you start, all right, they're yelling at me for this. I know not to do not to do this or not to say this. But at a certain age, you start developing your own stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's like, all right, this is wrong. This is bad. Mm -hmm. And it's, I think it's all how you grow up. Yeah. yeah. Um, and there was an event here in college, and uh, a student uh, spoke his opinions on... Um, his opinions on gay marriage, I guess. Um, not to call you out again, Pete, but have you ever um, experienced any type of, like, negative treatment towards you just because you were gay? Or outwardly gay? No. Um, not outwardly gay, but, like... I get what you're saying. You know, yeah, people look at you and they automatically um, assume she's gay. Oh, I mean, I get assumptions all the time, obviously because of how I dress and mm -hmm. how I act. But then I also get, like, people, like... Or like I had no idea probably because it's also people are also tomboys you have to realize that too yeah. mm -hmm. but I also told Angel like I love I've been wanting dreads since I was in the fourth grade oh, okay. that has nothing to do with my sexual orientation if I was straight gay I would have gotten dreads regardless mm -hmm. but I told I was like maybe I should get my sewing because um, when I want a job they'll probably hire me quicker if mm -hmm. I had regular hair than dreads because now I look gay now I don't have the image like um, I guess it kind of makes you kind of self-conscious when you go out and you dress how you want to dress yeah. and you look at the elderly people who are looking at you like, why are you trying to be a guy? When I, and I'll, honestly, I don't want to be a guy. Okay. I don't. Like, that's not why. I literally would dress the same if Just I was... because it's comfortable. No, yeah. no. Like, I was dressing the same when I was talking to a boy. Oh, Swear okay. to God. I was a tomboy my whole life. I, you know what I'm saying? Like, people have their own assumptions. Mm -hmm. You know, but with whom... I'm not gonna sit here and have a two-hour debate about what I like, how I like to dress, <laughs> nothing like that. Like you're either you're either it's I, like I told Angel the other day, it's either a hit or miss situation for me. Either you like me, or you don't, and I'm not gonna. Yeah. I don't chase. I mean, my thing is like I wear dresses, I play a sport, 
I could be Tom Girly. Tom Girly. <laughs> that makes sense. No. <laughs> I could be Tomboy, like, one day and really girly another day. Like, yeah. it just depends on my attitude. But, I mean, when you look at me, you're not going to automatically assume, like, she's gay. She's bi. Mm -hmm. She's straight. You know, so. When you don't say what you really are. I'm bisexual. Oh. Thank you very much. Since Felicia Gilmore wants to uh, <laughs> tell I'm the whole world. <laughs> Um, but yeah, in my opinion, I, I don't think, I think that, um, people should be more open and hippie world is a, the happy world. Don't believe that. Love, love life. Love Peace. everyone. No, there, there's more drama being with a female than I've ever had in my life. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, alrighty. Now, time for our <laughs> second. Oh, guys, I have to go. All right, yeah, you're going to, oh, all right. So I go get dressed. Say goodbye to Fifi. Uh, We're, uh, Fifi and I are, will be attending the Gale Spies, if that's how you say it. Um, it's the Athletic Awards dinner kind of thing. So, yeah. See you, Fifi. Enjoy right. getting dressed. But Good. before you leave, what song do you have for us today? Uh, um, I don't know. Just play, play, play the next song that's on there. Wow. Okay. So, here goes Beyonce Falls and all. Remember, 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 remember. Every now and then without warning